What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be testing out a whole bunch of different screen protectors for the brand new Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now I will also be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick up any of these screen protectors yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links to make your purchases because it helps me keep purchasing products to review to you guys. And I will also be putting timestamps in the description for all these screen protectors because this is going to be a lengthy video, but stick with me because I guarantee you're going to find one screen protector here you're going to absolutely love. All I ask is that you show me that you care that I'm doing this for you by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. So grab your snacks, sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Okay so I just want to let you know right off the bat before I install any screen protector on the phone I will thoroughly wipe it off with an alcohol wipe and dry it off so I don't have to show it to you every single time. So first we're going to start off with a tempered glass screen protector by Super Shields. You get two screen protectors in an installation packet. So this screen protector is ever so slightly curved on the edges so we'll see how well it stays down on the phone and it also has this cutout for your fingerprint sensor which I absolutely do not like but we'll see what it looks like on the phone. So what you're going to want to do first is to take your guide stickers and we're going to put one on each end of the screen protector to help us place it on the phone. So it's going to end up looking like this. Then what you're going to want to do is to peel off the underside uh, protector just like that. Then we just need to place it on the phone with our guide stickers the best we can. So once you have it down where you want it on the phone, just take your little wipe here and then just wipe down all over the screen because it does have some adhesive to keep it on the screen. And we'll take off our guide stickers. And then another important thing is this little fingerprint hole. You need to make sure you push all that down because if it's not totally stuck to the screen, it will interfere with the fingerprint sensor. So I definitely tell you maybe to use a credit card or a little squeegee if you have one to totally get that down. And as you can see, this is what it looks like right now. And I'll go ahead and use the squeegee to show you what it can look like when it's done. So now this is pretty much what you need it to look like for the fingerprint sensor to work the best that it can. As you can see, you don't see any of those, those marks like you did before. And it looks like it's pretty much down on the screen really well. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. So it does have a cutout for your little camera there so you don't have to worry about your selfie pictures or the face ID not working. But let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor seems to be working just fine. Yeah. So if you are having trouble with the fingerprint sensor working, I would definitely tell you to go back and redo your fingerprints as well as turn on the setting to enhance the sensitivity for your fingerprints. Touch seems to be working just fine, no issues there. It does look really clear. There are these little dots all over the place. I don't know if that's going to bother you or not, but you really can't tell too much that they're there unless you maybe look into it in light. But um, they are there, and that little fingerprint hole, I don't know if that would bother you. It does definitely bother me. I don't like the fact that it's there. It kind of looks a little different than the rest of the screen protector. Screen protector seems to be working pretty good. Touch, it's nice and smooth, just like the glass on the phone itself. And again, like I said, it is pretty clear. And again, the fingerprint sensor seems to be working just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to our scratch protection since this is a tempered glass screen protector. So we're going to start off with a level 5. Then we'll move on to a level 6. And then finally a level 7. So as you can see, there are no scratches at a level 5, which is pretty typical of all the other screen protectors. There are slight scratches at level 6 and deeper at a level 7. So that's pretty much on par with other screen protectors as well. All right, let's go ahead and see if it's case friendly. Seems to be pretty good. Comes right up to the bottom of the case itself. Doesn't seem to be pushing up. My recommendation is if you're going to use a screen protector with a case, put your case on first, then install the screen protector so you can get it perfectly lined up. But looking good. Now as far as it lifting and coming off the screen, I think there might just be adhesive 
along the sides here and not over the whole screen. So I'm going to go ahead and lift it up and see how easy it comes off your phone. Yeah, so that was like barely any effort. So I would definitely tell you that the scratch protection is on par with other tempered glass screen protectors. The fingerprint sensor does seem to work pretty good. Um, as far as drop protection goes, I can't really test this out because it does have a curve. So the only way to really test this would to be to, to drop something while it's on the phone. And I'm not, I can't risk damaging the one phone that I have for these reviews. So I can't do any drop tests for this. But as far as the fingerprint sensor goes, scratch protection goes, uh, ease of installation goes, it's pretty good. Uh, like, I, like I showed you, it does lift off the phone very easily. So it may or not be for you, but it seems to be working pretty good. So I would go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Okay, and then here we have some film screen protectors by Super Shields. So we get two screen protectors and an installation packet with a squeegee. Okay, so first you're gonna to wanna to take your guide stickers and put one on each end of the screen protector, just like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and peel off the number one on the underside of the screen. Then we're gonna use our guide stickers to place it where we need it on our phone. All right, and then once you have it down in place, just take your squeegee and make sure you push down the screen protector onto your phone right here because that's where it's gonna stick. So then what we need to do is to take our squeegee and put it right behind our number two here. We're gonna go ahead and lift up the screen protector and push back just like this, making sure that the screen protector goes up and over our screen and we're just gonna push out with our squeegee, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. We'll go ahead and put it right behind here and then lift up on our screen protector and push, just push out. Then once you're done with that, you're gonna just wanna take your thumb and just kind of push down the edges just like this. Okay, and then once that's done, we're gonna very carefully peel up on number four, making sure we don't peel up the screen protector with it. You can also try to peel off one of the guide stickers if the number four doesn't wanna work with you. Then you can take one of your wipes and kind of just wipe down the edges here to make sure that they stay down. So it looks like we have some kind of bubbles in the top corner here. And we have a whole bunch of lines in the middle of the screen protector. So a couple things I don't like already. In the top corners you can see how there's that these weird looking bubbles that I can't seem to get out. That does not look really good. And then in the middle are those lines that probably will not go away. In my experience, at least, they don't go away. That's a couple downsides. Let's see how the fingerprint sensor works. Fingerprint sensor seems to be working just fine. No issues there. And there's also a cutout for your camera so you don't have to worry about your selfies not working. As far as fingerprints goes, does seem to pick up a good amount of fingerprints, but you could probably just wipe those away. Yeah, not a problem. As far as touch goes, touch is nice and smooth. Everything is working fine. Feels pretty much just like the glass that's on the phone itself. So no problems there. But these markings, I, I hate these screen protectors. It's like the, the healing screen protectors that have these lines in them and that can kind of get messed up in the corners there. I mean, everything seems to be working pretty good, but because of those lines in the middle of the screen and at the top, I would probably tell you to stay away from the screen protector and I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. All right, and then here we have AM Films film screen protector. So we get two film screen protectors, a squeegee, an installation guide, an installation packet, and a mat. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to take your guide and we're gonna push it into the USB type C slot in the bottom of the phone, just like that. Then you're gonna to wanna to take your screen protector and we're gonna peel off number one. Then we're gonna go ahead and line the holes up with the guide here. 
just like that. Then we're going to place it down over our phone. Then once it's down where you want it, just run your finger across the middle here to kind of let it stick down. Then you're going to take your squeegee. We're going to put it on the line here. We're going to lift up on number two. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over your phone while you push out with the squeegee. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Go ahead and lift up number three a little bit. We're going to take out our guide and put your squeegee right behind the line here. And then we're going to lift up on three. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over your phone again while you're pushing out. Get out any bubbles you might see. Then all you need to do is just simply press down the edges with your thumb. Then we're going to very carefully peel up on number three, making sure you don't take the screen protector with it. Then we can very gently push out any bubbles we might see with our squeegee. And you can take your little wipe and just make sure you push down on the edges so they stay down. So far looking good. All right, so beautiful installation. I don't see any bubbles whatsoever on the screen. Looking nice. There is this slight one line in the middle here. But again, like I said, it's not horrible. When you're looking at your phone dead on, you can't even see it. There is also a cutout for your camera. So you don't have to worry about it not working with your face unlock. Sides seem to be staying down pretty good. I don't even, I really can't even tell that it's on the phone screen. Can you? I mean, it's that flawless of an installation. I don't see any seams. Looks really nice. Let's go ahead and test out our fingerprint. Fingerprint working perfect, no issues. As far as touch goes, nice and smooth. There is a slight grip to it, ever so slight, but your finger is pretty smooth on it. As far as fingerprints goes, it doesn't pick up a lot of fingerprints. I maybe see a couple here, not bad. You just wipe them away very easily, very nice. Now let's go ahead and put it in our case. Seems to be pretty case friendly as well. I don't see any lifting or peeling. Very nice. So that was a pretty easy installation. It doesn't seem to be lifting, seems to be case friendly. Fingerprint sensor is working. It's crystal clear and it's working fine with touch. So I would definitely go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. All right, and then here we have LYWHL's film screen protector. So this one comes with two film screen protectors, two tempered glass camera protectors, a mat, alcohol wipes and stickers, a squeegee, and an installation guide. So first we're gonna take our installation guide, we're gonna put it into the USB-C slot in the bottom of the phone, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the little guide holes over the guide, just like this. Then we're going to hold on to the top of the screen protector and put it down in place over the phone. When it's exactly where you want it, just run your finger down the middle, just like that. Then we're going to take our squeegee and go ahead and put it behind the line here. We're going to lift up on number one and then push forward. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over the top of your phone, just like that. Get out any bubbles you might see. Then we're going to Lightly lift up on the bottom here and pull out our guide. And we're gonna turn our phone around. Then we're gonna put our squeegee behind the line here, lift up on number two. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over our phone, but of course there's dust. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over our phone. Push out any bubbles. And then we'll go ahead and push down the edges with our thumb, just like that. Now very carefully, once you're done doing that, we're going to peel up on number two, making sure that it only peels off the top portion and not the screen protector underneath. Then you can take your one of your little dry wipes and kind of just push down on the edges to make sure that they stay down. Looks like a pretty good installation to me. 
It does have a cutout for your selfie camera, so you don't have to worry about it interfering with your face ID. There is a sl very slight line across the middle here. If you guys can see that. Not bad at all, though. As far as fingerprints goes, fingerprints seem to be working just fine. Yeah, no problems there. As far as touch goes, it's nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone itself. Nice and clear, looking good. I don't see any lifting around the edges, no bubbles. Again, like I said, very nice installation. As far as fingerprints goes, does seem to pick up some fingerprints, but you can easily just wipe those away without any issues. Let's go ahead and check out our case. Seems to be case friendly. I don't see any lifting. Comes right up to the edges of the case itself. Looking pretty nice. Not bad at all. Yeah, so this is this is a nice screen protector too. Like I said, there's that there's one line very faint, like right here down the middle, but if you're not looking at it dead on, you I mean if you're unless you're looking at it from the side, you really can't see it. Another good film screen protector, not bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Now let's go ahead and put on the camera screen protector. All right, so all we need to do is simply just peel back the plastic part, not touching the underside. Then we just need to line it up with our camera holes here. Not too bad to line up. And then once you're done, just press down on it. It kind of makes the phone look like the older Pixel 6. It doesn't look horrible, but I, I just really, I don't know, I don't kind of care for that. Put it in our case just to see what happens. And if you are going to use this with a case, it does kind of make the case bulge just a tiny bit because it doesn't fit in the little cutout. It's underneath it. I mean, if you're using the case, I probably wouldn't worry about a screen protector, but... It is what it is. It looks pretty clear. We'll go ahead and look at our cameras here. It does still seem to be pretty clear. I don't see any issues. So not too bad at all. Yeah, I don't see I don't see any problems with using that screen protector. Other than the way that it looks. Alright, and then here we have a privacy screen protector by IMBZBK. Here we get an installation mat, two privacy screen protectors, three tempered glass screen protectors for your rear camera, a squeegee, five installation packets, and an installation guide. So first we're going to take our installation guide and we're going to put it into the little USB Type-C slot in the bottom of the phone. Just press that into place. Make sure it's flush with these little nubs up top. Then we're going to take our guide and put the little notches here over the little notches on our guide. Just like that. Once this is in place, you're going to go ahead and hold the little tab at the top here and drop it into place perfectly. Once you have the screen protector where you want it, just run your finger down the middle here. Then we're going to take our squeegee, we're going to put it on the red line here and lift up on the little tab. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over your phone and just squeegee it out. Just like that. Then we need to pull our guide out, but we need to peel up this little uh, top protector here a little bit. Just like that. And then we're going to pull out the guide. Then we're going to take our squeegee again. We're going to put it on this dotted line. We're going to lift up on the film here, making sure that your screen protector goes up and over the screen. Just push out with the squeegee, just like that. Then very carefully, we're going to peel up the little piece here, making sure you don't take the screen protector with it. And then just take your thumb and push down the sides. Once you do that, you're going to take your little wipe, and then again, just push down on the sides really well so they stay down. All right, so it's all installed there. As you can see, if you turn it to the side, you can't see the screen anymore, which is pretty cool. Installation was pretty easy. I don't see any bubbles or lifting. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and test out our fingerprint. 
Yep, fingerprints working. As far as touch goes, super smooth. Feels just like the glass on the phone. Now it does dull the brightness a little bit, so you might have to turn the brightness up some to see even better because it is a privacy screen protector, but it, it looks pretty clear to me. Looks pretty nice, but again, when you turn it to the side, you can't see what's on the screen anymore. That's pretty cool. Now, like all the other film screen protectors, there are some lines in the middle of the screen here. But again, they're not horrible on this screen protector either, like they were the first ones. So that's pretty nice. I'll go ahead and put it in our case. Seems to be case friendly. There's a very slight gap at the top and the bottom. I don't see any lifting on the sides either. Looks pretty nice. You can see the difference in the screen between the little cutout and the rest of the screen protector. How it dims it. As far as fingerprints goes, it does pick up some fingerprints, but not bad at all. But the screen protector looks pretty good. Not bad at all. So if you want a privacy film screen protector, I would definitely give this one a look. I go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. So here is the tempered glass screen protector for the rear camera. It looks exactly like the one I just did, so I'm not gonna put it on again because it's no different than the one that I just did for the LYWHK one. So if you wanna check it out, go back and look at that screen protector. And then here we have a tempered glass privacy screen protector by Newspoint. You get one screen protector and an installation packet. All right, so what I would suggest to do is to take your screen protector and we're gonna put some guide stickers to help us put it down in place. I would go ahead and put one at the bottom here and another one kind of off center on the top. And then we'll go ahead and peel off the underside of the screen protector. Then we'll use our guide stickers to put this in place. Once you have it down where you want it, just make sure you run your fingers down the sides, on the bottom, and on the top of the screen protector. Go ahead and peel off our guide stickers. Go ahead and take that wipe, wipe down the screen. Again, make sure you go along the edges and on the bottom. Pretty easy installation, doesn't look bad at all. Go ahead and test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints don't seem to be working. As far as touch goes, it's nice and smooth. Feels just like the glass on the phone. Okay, we'll go ahead and add one of our fingerprints. Fingerprints don't seem to be adding at all. So it's not working with fingerprints, but as you can see, if you turn it off to the side, you can't see what's on the screen. Again, like I said, touch working perfectly fine. It's nice and smooth. Not bad. Let's go and see if it's case friendly. It does seem to come right up to the edge of the case, like all the way around, but it's not lifting up, so it should work with your case as well. As far as fingerprints goes, seems to reject fingerprints pretty good as well. And it does have a little cutout for your selfie cam, so it will work perfectly fine with your face unlock. Perfect. And let's go ahead and see how easily it comes off the phone. Not too bad. I had to use a little bit of force to come off. So not too bad. I had to use a little bit of force to take it off the phone, so it should stay on there pretty good. But if you care about the fingerprint sensor, I'd tell you to stay away from this. And because the fingerprint sensor doesn't work, um, I definitely need it to work. And I'm sure a lot of you would probably <laughs> need it to too. So I would not recommend this screen protector and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs down. All right, and here we have a tempered glass screen protector by CoverOn. You get two tempered glass screen protectors, an installation packet, and a squeegee. So again, this tempered glass screen protector does have a slight curve to it, and it's got that little cutout for your fingerprint sensor. So I would take these guide stickers and put one on each end of the screen protector. Then we'll go ahead and peel off the underside sticker. 
And we'll go ahead and place it over our phone using our guides. All right, once it's down in place, very carefully press down on the edges of the screen protector and on the bottom. Make sure you don't touch the fingerprint hole yet. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to press down the fingerprint sensor really well so it, it doesn't show any bubbles or anything like it does now. It needs to be fully adhered kind of like the glass does on the phone. So I would take a squeegee or a credit card or something and press that down into place. So this is what it looks like before. Now I'm going to go ahead and press it down and I'll show you what it has to look like afterward. And that's what you want it to look like afterward because if it doesn't, it will interfere with the fingerprint sensor. Then once you put down the fingerprint sensor, again, I would just take a little wipe and just press down all the way around the edges on the screen protector because that's where the adhesive is. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Pretty easy installation, not bad at all. There is this, a whole bunch of little dots on the screen. It's probably to keep the rainbow effect down. Let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. Okay, fingerprint sensor seems to be working. As far as touch goes, feels just like the glass on the phone screen. Nice and smooth. Not bad at all. Now in the corners of the screen protector, it looks like you can see where it's like kind of rounded off where the adhesive is. I don't know if you guys can see that in the corners. See that it's kind of rounded off and then there's adhesive in the, in the corner there, in the top corner here. Well, anyway, uh, it does seem to be staying on the phone. Touch working fine. It is clear. Let's go ahead and put it in our case. Seems to come right up to the edges of the case. Working very nice. No lifting. That is a little off-putting with the little corners there, or it looks kind of weird with the adhesive and the, the curved screen, but it definitely does what it says. Let's go ahead and test out the scratch protection. We're going to go ahead and start off with a level 5, then we'll move on to a level 6, and then a level 7. So as you can see, there's no scratches at level 5. There are light at a level 6 and deeper at a level 7. So not bad at all. Everything seems to be working pretty good. Fingerprint sensor seems to be working. Uh, scratch resistance definitely on par with other tempered glass screen protectors. Its case seems to be case friendly. Touch working fine. It's clear. So I would probably go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and see how easily it comes off your screen. I did have to use a little bit of force to take it off, but I think it should stay down on your screen if you are just using it on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And here we have Tokal's film screen protector. So here we get a little mat, two film screen protectors, an installation guide, two tempered glass rear camera protectors, and an installation packet. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to take our guide with the little nubs up and we're going to put it into the bottom of our phone, push it in place until it's flush. Then we're going to take our screen protector, we're going to peel off number one underside. Then we're going to line up the little holes with our little guide here. Let's press that into place. Then we're going to hold number two and kind of line it up where we need it to. Make sure that this doesn't stick onto the phone. Once the screen protector is down in place, you're going to take your squeegee and just press down on the middle here, making sure that that little strip is adhered. Then we're going to go ahead and put our little squeegee behind the line here. We're going to lift up on two. Then we're going to squeegee out the screen protector. Make sure it goes up and over your phone screen. And squeegee out any bubbles you might see. Then we're going to turn it around. We're going to go ahead and put our little squeegee behind the line here again and we're going to lift up. Then we're going to lift up on three. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over your phone. This. Going to lift up. Then we're going to pull out our guide. 
Then we're going to push down the edges just like this. And then very carefully, we're going to pull up on number four, making sure we don't take the screen protector underneath with it. Then we can squeegee out any bubbles we might see. And we can take our little wipe and just, wow, look at all the dust that that just put on the screen. It, the screen's super rubbery too. So if we take a look at the installation, there are very noticeable lines going in the middle of the screen, as you guys can see right there. That's number one. Number two, there's a bubble that I got in the screen there that I can't really get out. And the screen has like this orange peel look to it. If you guys can see, it just looks like this orange peel all over the place, which I don't really care for. All these how it looks all wrinkly as far as the touch goes it is pretty smooth let's see if it works with the fingerprint sensor fingerprint sensor seems to work fine no issues there it's nice and clear touch seems to be working just fine let's go ahead and put it in our case here seems to be case friendly i don't see any lifting it seems to come right up to the edge it's not a bad screen protector. The little bubble at the top kind of is annoying me, and especially these lines that are re really bad in the middle of the screen. Definitely could have been a lot better. And that, that orange peel look, so it's not really clear, that bothers me too. I would probably not recommend this screen protector just because of all these issues. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs down and tell you to stay away from the screen protector. And again, these tempered glass screen protectors for the rear camera are exactly, they're all the same. The ones that I've done so far, they are exactly the same. So if you want to see how well these work and what the installation's like, go back and look at the LYWHK film screen protector installation video. Now here's an interesting screen protector. This is Better Futures, it's AACL. And this screen protector is kind of like a hybrid between a glass and a film. And it has adhesive that hardens with a ultraviolet light. So here we get four wipes, a squeegee, dust stickers, an installation guide, an ultraviolet LED, a practice screen protector, and two actual screen protectors. So first we're going to take our installation guide with these little nubs pointing up and we're going to press it into the bottom of our phone. Just like that. Make sure you have a power supply ready for your LED before you do the installation for the screen protector. So first I would take one of my dust stickers and I would go ahead and put it on the screen protector just like that. Then we're going to peel off number one which is the underside of the screen protector. And we're going to line up the little guide holes with the guides on the guide here. And then hold your guide sticker in the front and put it down on the phone the best you can. Once you have it in place, we can go ahead and take our squeegee and kind of just squeegee the whole front of the phone. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is take our squeegee, put it behind the line here, pull back on our number one here, peel back, make sure that the cover goes up and over the screen of the phone. Just like that. And we're going to turn it around. Then we're going to lift up on the sticker for the guide here. We're going to take our squeegee, put it behind the line here again, lift back on number three. And we're going to squeegee out and over the phone. You can lift up on the edge there just so it comes out better. Take out your guide. Then you want to push down on the edges just like this. Now very carefully we're going to peel up on number three, making sure that you don't take the screen protector underneath with it. And we can maybe try to squeegee out these lines. And then I'm going to take your wipe and just wipe down the edges to make sure that they stay down really well. 
Then we're going to plug in our UV light and use it for 90 seconds to cure the whole screen. Just slowly move the UV light up and down the phone for the next 90 seconds. Then we're going to cure it in four sections, 20 seconds each. Okay, so instead of four sections, I would tell you to do six because we need it to equal up to 120 seconds, 20 seconds a piece. So now that that's done, go ahead and wipe down the phone a little bit. Installation was pretty nice. I don't see any bubbles. There is a slight line in the middle of the screen that I know you can see. As far as touch goes, nice and smooth. Feels exactly like the glass. Go ahead and test out our fingerprints. Fingerprints seem to be working just fine. Very nice. Again, touch, working beautiful, nice and smooth. As far as fingerprints goes, it does collect some fingerprints, but it very easily wipes away with minimal effort. There is a cutout for your selfie camera as well. Go ahead and put it in our case. As you can see, it does pick up some fingerprints there, but it does seem to come right up to the edge of our case so there is no lifting that's definitely a plus so not too bad again if you don't care about that line in the middle this is not a bad screen protector it feels again like I said it's nice and smooth fingerprint sensor is working touch working fine so if you can get over that little line in the middle I, I don't think it's too bad if you're looking at your phone dead on you're not going to see it you only really see it when you look at your phone from the side. So I would recommend the screen protector and I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then as far as taking it back off your phone, let's see how easy it is. Yeah, it's easy. It's just a film screen protector. No problems at all. And it doesn't leave behind any residue. All right, and then here is Whitestone Dome's UV Gen film. Comes with two installation packets. An installation guide with a squeegee, a UV light, and two film screen protectors. So before we begin with your UV LED light, you will need USB Type-C connection to power it. You can use maybe like one of your phone's power sources and the cable. Just plug it into here and you can use it. It's I think it uses like 5 volts, maybe 1 amp. Then we're going to take our guide, make sure you put the nubs face up, and use the side with the little C in it. I'm going to push that in the bottom of our phone, just like that, make sure it's flush. We're going to take our little foam here, go ahead and put this at the top of our phone. Make sure you clear off any dust from the screen. We'll go ahead and open our screen protector. Make sure you don't do this when there's any sunlight uh, beaming down on your screen protector because it'll prematurely <laughs> cure the adhesion. So we're going to go ahead and take our screen protector and peel off the back sticker. Then we're going to line the holes up with our guide. Just push down on that. Then we'll hold the screen protector by the little tab on the top here and then put it into place. Then we'll take our squeegee and kind of just squeegee out the bubbles that we see. Then we're going to go ahead and take our squeegee, put it behind the line here just like this, and lift up on the back portion. Pull it back and make sure the screen protector goes up and over the phone just like that. And you can use the tab to lift up over the guide. And we'll go ahead and pull our guide out. And we'll go ahead and turn it around and do the same thing. Put our squeegee behind the line here, lift up on the tab and then squeegee forward so the protector goes up and over your phone. Just like that. And you can squeegee out the middle line, just like that. Then what you're gonna do is just take your finger and push down on the edges, just like this. Now I would take, I would take our little wipe and just press extra on the edges to make sure that they stay down. 
Now we're going to peel off the front screen protector very carefully, making sure you don't peel up the screen protector underneath. And then again, just wipe down the edges so that make sure they're staying down. Then we're going to take our UV light and we're going to cure the screen top middle bottom each for 60 seconds so just press in the button twice and it'll automatically time it for you all right so let's go ahead and take a closer look here looks pretty nice there are no bubbles touch feels pretty smooth just like glass let's test out the fingerprint sensor Fingerprint sensor seems to be working just fine. No issues there. Touch, nice and smooth, working perfectly fine. There is a little cutout for your camera, so it's gonna work perfectly fine with your facial recognition. Yep, no issues there. Let's go and put it in our case. Seems to be case friendly as well. It comes right up to the edge on the bottom of the, the case here and on the top looks very nice as far as fingerprints goes does pick up some fingerprints but not too bad as you can see there is an ever ever so slight line in the middle you really really can't even see it this is probably the lightest line that i've seen of the film screen protectors everything is working really well again it's not lifting there are no bubbles anywhere there's no lifting in the edges this is a pretty nice screen protector. So if you're intimidated to do the full liquid adhesive, this is the next best thing. So the screen protector seems to be working pretty well. Everything's working. Screen looks beautiful, nice and clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And we'll see how it goes when we try to take it off. No problems there. Does not leave any residue behind. All right, and then here we have Skinomi's Matte Skin Matte film screen protector. So we get our application liquid, we get a wipe, and two matte film screen protectors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, this is my second attempt, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the screen protector. I'm gonna squirt the underside of the screen protector here. I'm gonna put it on the phone. Try to squeegee out as much water as possible and keep drying it off. Then once you have most of the water out, you can go ahead and push down these edges. You really have to put a lot of work into this screen protector just to get these edges to stay down. It's really more trouble than it's worth when you can just get a screen protector that doesn't use this water to adhere to your screen and you're done in like five minutes. This takes like like 15, 20 minutes because you have to keep working to make sure that these edges stay down. Because if you don't, they just peel up and then your screen protector is ruined. Like all the work I just put into the other side and it's already lifting on the other side here. They just don't want to stay down. So, there is the screen protector. It's not adhering to the edges here. I've been working at it probably for the past 10, 15 minutes now. It is a nice matte film screen protector, but the edges, I mean, how much do you wanna work just to get these edges to stay down? It just, it just doesn't make any sense. Like why make a screen protector like that? So it's nice and smooth for a matte film screen protector. They typically are. Fingerprints, of course, they don't show any fingerprints like you would think that they wouldn't. Uh, as far as the peeling up in these edges, they, they don't want to stay down. And I'm not going to keep working at this for a half an hour to get the screen protector to stay down. I wouldn't expect you to do that either. You shouldn't have to. You should put the screen protector on. It should be, you know, maybe work the edges a little bit and then you're done. This is just, I mean, look at that. It just keeps coming up. So... You know, it's a nice screen protector, but if you can't get the edges to stay down, why even bother? As far as the fingerprint goes, fingerprints work fine. I'll go ahead and put it in the case just because. 
Looks like it comes right up to the edge of the case. There is a little bit of peeling, but again, I just did put it on. So it's not, you know, fully adhered, but how much do you want to work to get those bubbles out? I don't think it's worth it. So because of these bubbles and the way that, that you have to work just to get the screen protector to stay down for, you know, 20 minutes or so, I wouldn't go through the hassle. So I would tell you to stay away from the screen protector and I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. All right, and then here we have IMB ZBK's premium liquid adhesive screen protector. Wow, look at this thing. So here's your instruction booklet. We get a couple side absorbers. We get a rather long USB-A to USB Type-C cable. We get our little pull-out tool. You'll see why I said that in a minute. We get this weight. It's pretty heavy. We get some extra, extra tools here. We get a liquid vial of adhesive. We get three tempered glass screen protectors. Our installation tray. Three installation packets three rear tempered glass screen protectors for your rear camera, which they are exactly the same as all the other ones, two more vials of liquid adhesive, and our UV LED. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to get your tray, put it down onto a level surface. There's a little level on the side here to let you know if the surface is level or not. Next thing, we're gonna take our little absorbers. You're gonna to wanna to put one on each side here just like this. And one at the top for the speaker. So it looks just like that. Then we're gonna clean off our phone screen. Then we're gonna take our phone and we're gonna put it into our little guide here. Make sure that you put the camera towards the top where it says top. Go ahead and slide that in just like that. Looks like the little absorbers are covering the speaker grill, so you don't have to worry about getting anything in there. And the sides seem to be doing a good job there as well. Now we're gonna get our little black, red, and green plastic pieces. The red ones go up at the top here, and they only go in one way. Then our green ones go in on the sides. Then the black ones go down at the bottom. Right, then we're going to take our little black pullout piece. We're going to put it in between the little two plastic pieces, just like that. Then we're going to take our screen protector. As you can see, it's got a little plastic piece right here. We're going to keep that on because that's where we're going to need to put our little weight. Then we're going to take our little liquid vial of adhesive. You're going to unscrew the white cap here. Make sure that the liquid goes in the middle of the screen here. So then hold this over the middle of the screen and then undo the black cap and just let the liquid flow out of the file. Then once it's done, you can replace the caps. Then you're gonna take your screen protector. We're gonna peel off the underside. Then we're gonna place the top of the screen protector inside the tray first against the little absorber. And then you can kind of drop it into place. Now slowly, we're going to pull out this little piece in the back here, releasing the screen protector. Make sure you pull it slowly. Once it touches the glass, you can continue to pull it out. And then once the adhesive goes all the way over this little plastic piece on the screen protector, we're gonna go ahead and place our weight immediately down. Then just wait till all the adhesive covers all over the whole screen. Don't touch the screen while the adhesive is still moving around the whole screen. So it seems like the liquid adhesive has now gone all over the screen. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull out our little plugs here. Then we're gonna plug in our UV light. We're gonna place it over the middle of the screen just like this. And we're gonna turn it on for 30 seconds. Just press the button once. Then we're gonna go ahead and take off the metal piece 
and the little sticker that's on the screen. Then we'll go ahead and cure the screen for another 30 seconds. Then we're going to cure each side for 30 seconds. And then we're going to cure the other side for 30 seconds. All right, now we can take our phone out. Just kind of press it out from the back here. So be very careful when you take your phone out of here because there might be some liquid around the edges like there is on mine. So all you need to do is take your little wipe and kind of wipe down your edges. All right, so now that that is all taken care of, we can go ahead and take a closer look. On the sides of my phone are pretty clean. You just might have to clean it up a little bit. I don't see any issues near the speaker grill, so that's nice. On the other side as well, nice and clean. Cleaned up pretty good. As far as touch goes, it feels just like the glass that's on your phone. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor is working fine. Touch, nice and smooth. No issues there. Very nice. Working fine. Now, as far as fingerprints goes, it does a pretty good job at rejecting fingerprints. Don't really see any on the screen. Let's test out our facial recognition. No issues there, super clean. Let's go ahead and put it in our case. Seems to come right up to the edge of the screen protector. I don't see any lifting. So I think you should be okay with putting a case on here. <laughs> Not bad, I'm pretty happy with it. Seems to be working pretty good. So it does collect some fingerprints there, but you can very easily just wipe those away. So if you do happen to have a problem with the fingerprint sensor, just go back in, uh, add new fingerprints, and turn up the sensitivity for the uh, fingerprints as well. I'll go ahead and add it, so add some fingerprints in here just to kind of see how well it does. All right, so we'll go ahead and add our fingerprint. All right, so no problems putting in our fingerprint. We'll go ahead and test it out again. No issues there, super quick. Work, working great. Yeah, perfectly fine. So, not a bad screen protector. Works pretty good. Uh, fingerprints working, touch working, super clear. Installation was fairly easy as you saw. The best things about the liquid adhesive tempered glass screen protectors are one, they're tempered glass. Two, they don't have that little uh, clear ring in the middle of the screen like all the other screen protectors do, and they stay down. And it's full adhesive, so you don't have to worry about any clicking or anything like that. And it just looks kind of like the glass that was on the phone in the first place. So let's go ahead and test out the scratch resistance. We'll go ahead and start off with a level five. Then we'll move on to a level 6, and then finally a level 7. So as you can see, there's no scratches at a level 5. There are at a level 6, and a little deeper at a level 7. So that's pretty much on par with other tempered glass screen protectors. So if you're looking for a tempered glass screen protector that looks great, works excellent with the fingerprint sensor, and has good scratch resistance, I would definitely recommend this screen protector and I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. And then if you wanna take it off, go ahead and simply just run your finger uh, underneath the glass and it should start to lift immediately. And then you can kind of just lift it off, just like that. And there is absolutely no liquid adhesive left over. And then as far as the rear camera tempered glass screen protectors, if you guys want to see that installation and how they work, go back and watch the LYWHK film screen protector and it shows you how, to, how it works in there. They are all the same, exactly. All right, and then here we have Whitestone Dome's premium glass screen protector with liquid adhesive. So here we have the UV LED, and to make this work, you're going to need a USB Type-C cable and some sort of power source, whether it be your phone's power brick or a power bank, you can use both of those with this. 
Here we have three liquid vials of adhesive. We have some insulation wipes and tools. Here's our guide. You get this little plastic piece as well. It looks like a screen protector for our rear camera. Get some covers for all the ports on your phone and two tempered glass screen protectors. All right, so first you're gonna to wanna to open up that little packet and get out two of these little felt pads. Then we're gonna go ahead and stick them in on the little sides of the guide here. You can take out the little bridge too. Next, you're gonna take your black masking stickers and we're going to stick them on the sides here covering the buttons, the ports on the bottom, your little SIM card slot, and your little uh, microphone on the top here. So when you're done, your phone's gonna end up looking something like this, where all your ports are covered with those stickers. So in case any liquid gets out, you don't have to worry about it getting into your uh, little ports and buttons. Next, we're gonna go ahead and clean off the screen of our phone really well. And we'll go ahead and dry off the screen. Then we'll use our dust stickers to get rid of any dust. Then you're gonna take your guide, make sure the Pixel 7 Pro little name up at the top here is by the camera of the phone. Then we're just gonna simply press this down over our phone. Make sure it clicks into place. Then we're gonna take this little plastic piece and we're gonna put it into place right here. It's gonna go upside down just like this. It'll clip into place. Then we're gonna take our other little sticker, we're gonna peel it off and we're gonna place it over here and this is where our speaker grill is gonna get covered by this little plastic sticker. I would use a little squeegee or something to kind of make sure that this sticker is pressed down on your phone so no liquid adhesive gets into the speaker grill. And it's gonna end up looking just like that. Then we're gonna take our bridge and we're gonna place it over the two little holes right here, just like that. Then we're gonna take our vial, we're gonna undo the little pink part first. Then we're gonna go ahead and tip the vial into the little hole on the bridge here. And then you're gonna undo the little black top and let all the liquid adhesive come out. Once all the adhesives come out, you can put the cap back on. Now we'll go ahead and remove the bridge. Then you're gonna take that little black plastic piece and we're gonna slide it into the slot right here, just like this. So first you're gonna take your screen protector and we're gonna peel off the little underside sticker, just like this. Then we're gonna place the bottom of the screen into the little slots just like this and we're going to let it rest right on top of this little black piece right here. Make sure it's resting against these two little posts on the bottom here. So now very importantly we're going to press down on the little guide here and the bubble is going to move to the middle. We need to make sure that the bubble is totally uh, perfectly in line in the middle here with the middle of the bubble and then we can start to release the little tab here. If you need to, you can kind of manipulate this by picking it up because your table might not be level, not a problem. Just make sure that once you push down, the little bubble ends up in the middle here and it'll touch the screen and that's when we're gonna to start to pull out our little tab here. So I'm gonna press down on the back here. You can kind of help it if you need. Again, wait for that bubble to reach the middle and then slowly pull out the guide. Now you just need to wait for the adhesive to totally cover the whole screen. Make sure you don't touch the screen protector while it's doing this. Then you're going to get your UV light and we're going to do a curing for the top, middle, and bottom, 15 seconds each. All you need to do is press the button in one time and it'll, it'll turn off by itself. All right, so once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and take our phone out of the jig and then we need to clean it up because it looks like there might be some adhesive on the sides. And then we'll do our second curing. So we'll just go ahead and press on the bottom of the phone here. And then just lift up on the jig. 
and you can take your alcohol wipe again and we'll clean up on the sides. It looks like it did a pretty good job at keeping everything clean. I don't see any problems. Go ahead and just wipe it down just a little bit. All right, and then once it's clean, we'll go ahead and do our second curing. This time we're gonna do 60 seconds for the top, middle, and bottom. Just press the button in two times. All right, so now we can go ahead and take the stickers off the side of our phone. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the screen here. Looks pretty nice. It also looks like it is case friendly because it leaves like a little gap at the bottom of the phone here, as well as on the top and on the sides. So now we'll go ahead and test out our fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor seems to be working pretty good. It's nice and smooth, just like the glass that's on the phone itself. Very nice, nice and clear. It also has a little cutout for your camera, so you don't have to worry about it not working with your uh, facial recognition. Works perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and put it in our case. Very nice, it comes right up to the edges of the case. There's still a small gap on the bottom of the phone and at the top. So it is case friendly, very nice. Feels really good. Again, fingerprint sensor working fine. I didn't even have to redo my fingerprints. Now as far as fingerprints goes, it does seem to pick up some fingerprints, but you can easily just wipe those away. Yeah, minimal effort. Just kind of wipes away really nice. So this screen protector came out absolutely flawless. Looks really nice on the phone. There's absolutely no peeling. There's no bubbles. There's nothing stuck underneath the screen. It came out looking really nice. All right, so everything is looking good so far. Let's go ahead and test out these scratch resistance. All right, so first we're gonna start off with level five. Then we're gonna move on to a level six. And then finally a level seven. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. So as you can see, there's no scratches at a level five. There are a little deeper at a level six and even deeper than that at a level seven. So scratch resistance is pretty much on par with all the other tempered glass screen protectors. All right, so installation was pretty easy. And as you can see, the end result was flawless. Fingerprint sensor works. It feels just as smooth as a glass on the phone. It's clear and the scratch resistance is on par with other premium tempered glass screen protectors. So if you're looking for a really nice tempered glass screen protector to protect your brand new Pixel 7 Pro, I would definitely recommend this screen protector. And I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Now, if you're wondering what happens when you take this off of the screen, I would definitely recommend trying to use like a, a pick a credit card or like a squeegee or something like that don't make make sure you don't use anything metal so like i just did i took my little rubber squeegee here i just went ahead and stuck one end underneath the screen protector and then you can kind of just move it down the line here and it'll lift up off of your phone and then you can just lift the screen protector off the phone and as you can see there's absolutely no residue left on the screen here all right and then here is that film screen protector for your rear camera so first you wanna go ahead and peel off the number one from the underside protector, just like that. Then you wanna use the guides on the side to put it down over your lens. So I think that looks pretty good. Then all you need to do is just press it down with your finger here. Get out any bubbles you might see. Then you can take a squeegee or a credit card or something. We're gonna go ahead and put that behind number two. We're gonna lift up and then push out over our camera, just like that. Press that down. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Go ahead and put the squeegee down and then lift up on number three. And then push out over our camera. Just like that. Then you can press it down. Then there's another little protector on top of that. We're just gonna go ahead and peel that off. 
it's nice and clear. You almost can't even tell that it's on your rear camera so it doesn't interfere with your lenses, but it does protect that metal on the back. This is definitely something nice that they give you, especially since a lot of people have been saying that the rear metal here on the camera scratches very easily. So that's pretty much it for all the best and worst screen protectors for the brand new Pixel 7 Pro. If you guys have stuck with me this far, thank you so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys found a screen protector that you really liked and you want to pick up, let me know in the comments which one you chose and why you picked that particular one. And don't forget, I will also be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick up any of these screen protectors yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.